Okay, so this is going to be my look into the Brigantine. Uh, the Brigantine is the three-player ship in Sea of Thieves. Um, it's a little bigger than the Sloop, it's a little smaller than the Galleon, obviously. Um, it's got some interesting uh, features, um, and it's it's just got an interesting design altogether. Um, it's uh, two decks, uh, just like the Sloop. Uh, it's not like the Galleon, it's not got three. Um, it's very long, um, not as long as the Galleon, again, um, but it is notably long. It, it is also just one deck on the top. Uh, the Sloop and the Galleon both have stairs um, at this point to get up to the wheel, and the Brigantine is just one, s one flat deck, um, which makes for a completely different uh, experience, and we'll talk about that in a minute uh, with regards to the flow. So. As you can see, running around on this deck, the flow is a lot better than the sloop. Um, there is multiple ways I can run around it um, and use different aspects like the uh, masts and the anchor as cover. Although, again, why is there, um, uh, there's no crouch button. Why can't I use this as a co as cover? It'd be nice to crouch behind this, but anyway. Maybe Sea of Thieves isn't quite a game for crouching, but I would like to be able to crouch. Everyone always wants to be able to crouch. Um, so yeah, um, same uh, story for the entry points. Um, the uh, two ladders either side are uh, your only real entry points. Although there's a lot better vision for these uh, entry points from the wheel. So on the sloop, you're like, oh, I've got to, I've got to get off the wheel really, or I've got to look really far to see to cover these uh, ladders. From here, you can see the ladders. Um, you can see who's coming aboard your ship, and you can also get to them very quickly. Um, so, yes, that's good. They also have to run a fair distance to get to your anchor. Um, although the anchor is positioned uh, down the bottom of the ship, so that you're running away from the captain um, in order to uh, to hit that anchor. Just, just sorry to uh, to note um, that is actually one of the main objectives of someone boarding the ship. Like, it's like the first objective is to knock that anchor down. It stops the ship. It allows their friends on the other ship to then outmaneuver uh, this ship or or to catch up with it or whatever it is um, that they need to do but a, a, a stationary ship is much easier to fight than a uh, moving one so that's worth noting um, so on on the sloop the person the player must go past the captain in order to reach the uh, the anchor so there's a completely different dynamic there uh, so Let's go and take a look downstairs. Um, when you go downstairs, um, so on the sloop, um, you were f you were facing the back of the ship. Um, on this ship, you're facing forward now as you come down. Um, you're instantly given choice: this way or that way, this way or that way. Um, or do you turn around? Do you go around here? Check here. Although nobody's going to come into this area during a multiplayer fight because this is a dead end. You come here, you're dead. Someone's going to throw grenades at you. They're going to throw firebombs at you. They're going to run in and, with, uh, and and hit you with a shotgun in the corner. You're dead if you come here. So this is a what I would consider to be a, a, a dead zone. Um, unlike dead zones, dead zones are, are boring. Um, they only ever serve um, conversations and messing around. They don't serve multiplayer uh, fun. Sorry, I was. Uh, Getting a bit tired of carrying a sniper rifle around there. It was from my previous video. <laughs> so, um, again, down here we got some fake barrels. I'm not a big fan of fake barrels. Um, or not fake barrels, but, you know, decorative barrels. Um, I prefer barrels to actually have a use or just to simply not be there because, again, um, you would store those kind of barrels. Historically speaking, they would be underneath the boat in all of this area, all this space under here that's not getting used. Um, Notice it's a short ladder, same as the sloop. Um, in fact, I, <laughs> I would love to count the rungs. That's, I'm going to go back. Who's going to who's going to be sad enough to go back to my other video and count the rungs on the ladder? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rungs. Or like nine if you count the one underwater, I think. But like, yeah. So, God, this game's beautiful. See, is it, it's the thing about this game. You get sidetracked so easily. Um, okay, so entry points onto the boat again. Uh, it's just the two ladders, the harpoons are too difficult, and the rowboat 
is uh, not viable. Um, it's also uh, worth noting that the the back area of the sloop um, completely different. It's totally open. This is all closed in, shut off. As I say, this is a bad area. Um, it's 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 a dead end. It's closed off. It's not somewhere where you would come during a fight because it's there's nothing there for you um, except death. Um, that, it's funny to have the brig in the centre of the ship. Although again, you know the, the brigs. I just, I mean, this this takes up a lot of the centre of the ship, you know. I mean, it it's good aesthetically. It's it's funny even when you're running past someone who is in that that brig, but they're in that brig because they've either because you're messing around, in which case you're not in a fight, or because they've annoyed you um, and they've trolled the ship, or you know maybe they've been throwing firebombs around, or they've been. Uh, I don't know, saying horrible things to people in the chat or whatever. So you 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 block them in to the the oh, bear, I'm talking of blocked in. There's the door. How's that supposed to swing open? Supposed to move the barrels? You can't. I know they just teleport in there, but you know, just for the sake of design, like how's this does door supposed to open? Anyway, um, yeah, it I don't know. It just it feels like this could be at the at the end of the ship here. It could be facing the map. Um, then at least the person who's in the brig could redeem themselves by being useful by at least calling out uh, th things on the map, maybe something like that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it, 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 these these fake barrels here that you know you could put the brig here, um, and it, and it would free up all this space, um, and you could even move your map table to here to the center of the ship, um, because again, you know people don't come down here. It's a dead end. They they don't use this here. Um, especially considering that the map orientation doesn't change when you go around the ship as it sh uh, or around, because who wants to look at a map upside down? I mean, I know that the names turn back upside down, but the orientation of the uh, compass in the top left there doesn't. And uh, you know, again, like who, who wants to look at the map upside down? Nobody wants to look at the map upside down. You know, it uh, it's a dead area again. This, and I don't like dead areas. As I've uh, probably mentioned already. Oh yeah, most important part. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. So I don't, to be honest, I don't think there's much else to say here. Um, aside from uh, uh, you know stuff I've already covered in the sloop video. Um, you know you get stuck on the sides. Not great. Um, you know what's the, what's this hatch for? I know again aesthetically it's it's kind of nice, but from a multiplayer standpoint, nobody's ever going to be there, so you're not going to be shooting through this window at them. It's not going to happen. So yeah, um, is it worth mentioning the crow's nest? I don't think so. Uh, the crow's nest is the crow's nest. You wouldn't really change anything about that in order to facilitate a multiplayer map. Um, although one thing note uh, to note, um, I can't really demonstrate because uh, I would need to actually go sailing in order to do so. But um, uh, the gunpowder barrels, um, when you drop them, same with anything, um, it drops to the floor. But dum right? When you're up in the crow's nest, the gunpowder barrel drops to the floor, but it will drop instantly from the top. So say if you're you're just just teetering over the top of somewhere like that and you're holding it, you press B and drop it, it will just appear like d here. It will not. You don't throw it. It doesn't drop. How is that a thing? Like the how have they not? How is Rare not uh, put a mechanic in where you can throw the gunpowder barrels? Or that when you put them down, they fall. Um, they should go off if they fall a certain distance as well. Um, you know, that shouldn't be far, just to make them a little dangerous. But uh, yeah, uh, anyway, that was uh, a little digression. But uh, yeah, the Brigantine, a much better design, but still not great. And, uh, yeah, room for improvement. Anyway, that's me hitting the 10-minute mark, so I shall leave it there. Um, thank you very much for watching my video, 
Um, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. I'm not really bothered about any of that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, alright. In a bit. <laughs> Catch you in the next video. Yo voy a cantar esta canción, yo voy a cantar esta canción para mi gente, con una pasión.